so students we have completed the chapter cell structure and functions and now we move on to the exercises so the first question here is indicate whether the following statements are true or false unicellular organisms have one cell body now we know that uni means one so this is true Second is muscle cells are branched. Well, muscle cells are not branched and they are spindle shaped. So this statement is false. Third is the basic living unit of an organism is an organ. We have already discussed that the basic unit is cell. So this is incorrect or false. Amoeba has irregular shape. It is true. Now we come to the second question. Make a sketch of the human nerve cell. What function do nerve cell perform? The nerve cell receive and transfer messages, thereby helping to control and coordinate the working of different parts of the body. And here is the structure of the nerve cell. It consists of a round cell body, which contains a central nucleus. Then they are processes called as dendrites a tail like part known as axon and nerve endings this is the longest cell in the human body moving on to the question number 3 write short notes on the following one is cytoplasm and another is the nucleus of the cell we have already seen these organelles in the diagram this is the nucleus and here is the cytoplasm. So, cytoplasm is a jelly like substance between the nucleus and cell membrane. Nuclear and cell membrane, and it is known as cytoplasm. Various cell organelles, mean the organ of the cell, like ribosomes, mitochondria, etc., are suspend suspended or keep floating inside the cytoplasm. It helps exchange and storage of substances among cell organelles and most of the metabolic activities occur inside the cytoplasm. Next is nucleus of the cell. Nucleus is the central dense round body. It is present in the center of the cell and is called the nucleus. It is important component of living cell. It is generally spherical. As we have already discussed, it is spherical and located at the center. It can be stained and seen easily with the help of a microscope. Nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane called the nuclear membrane. And this membrane also helps in the transmission of the materials inside the nucleus. Now inside the nucleus, there is one more spherical body. It is known as nucleolus. Nucleus also contains thread-like structures called chromosomes. As I have already told you, chromosomes contain the genes. Question number fourth is, which part of the cell contains organelles? So, as we have already discussed, all the cell organelles like Mitochondria, Golgi bodies, ribosomes, etc. are found inside the cytoplasm, which is the jelly like substance. Question number 5 is make sketches of animal and plant cells and state three differences between them. Now, these are the sketches of plant and animal cell. On the left hand, there is plant cell, and on the right hand side, there is animal cell. They consist of cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, and vacuoles. Now, if we have to list any three differences, we can write any three of them, like the presence of cell wall. The cell wall is present in case of the plant cell and absent in animal cell. Plastids are present in plant cell and absent in animal cell. Vacuoles are large in plant cells and small or absent or many in animal cells. Question number 6 is state the differences between eukaryotes and prokaryotes as I have already discussed with you that the prokaryotes are the cells having poorly developed nucleus for example bacteria and blue green algae eukaryotes have a well organized nucleus with a nuclear membrane 
and are termed as eukaryotic cells. Examples are onion cells, sheep cells or any other animal or plant cells. Where are chromosomes found in a cell state their functions? Well, we already studied that the site of the chromosomes is the nucleus of the cell. They carry genes and help in the inheritance or transfer of characters from parents to their children or offspring. Question number 8. Cells are the basic structural units of living organisms. Explain this. Now, we can explain it from the given diagram. Here is a brick wall and onion peel cell wall. Both bricks in a building and cells in the living organisms are basic structural units. All basic functions for organism survival take place inside cells. So we can see here as the bricks are forming a wall, similarly the cells are forming a structure. Structure means it can be a tissue, an organ, but the primary or um, structures will be the cells. Question number 9. Explain why chloroplasts are found only in plant cells. Chloroplasts are found only in plant cells because of the process of photosynthesis. Because we have already discussed that uh, the chloroplasts contain a pigment known as the chlorophyll which trap sun's energy and use it to prepare food for the plant. Question number 10. Complete the crossword puzzle with the help of clues given below. So, we come to the solutions here. So, the first clue is a cross. This is necessary for photosynthesis. So, what is necessary for photosynthesis? It is chlorophyll. Second clue is term for component present in the cytoplasm well the component present in cytoplasm is known as organelles third clue is the living substance in the cell the living substance in the cell is known as protoplasm Next clue, units of inheritance present on the chromosomes. Well, they are known as the genes. So, where it is written, it is written here. Now, it was across. Now, down. Down, the clues are green plastics. Green plastics are chloroplasts. This one. Next, formed by collection of tissues. After collection of tissues, organ is formed. So, it is written here. Next clue is, it separate the contents of the cell from the surrounding medium. Now, what? It is membrane. Empty structures in the cytoplasm. Empty structures are known as vacuoles. So where the vacuole is written here? It is here. And the last is a group of cells. A group of cells is known as tissues. Here it is. So this was the last question. And here we end this video.